Hey guys, it's PC Purse, and I'm back for another episode of A Dancer Reviews. So if it's your first uh, voyage over here, I'm PC Purse, Pussycat Purse, and I'm a pole dancer, pole instructor, competitor, enthusiast. And over here in this segment, we're going to be talking about pole in pop culture. So like television, movies, etc., etc., and how it shows up. And you're going to get a little tutorial. So come on in. All right. So we're on episode three of P-Valley. So we start with Roulette. And she is in one of the new rooms with the aerial pole. And she's giving a private dance to a guy. And she's got the mask on. So she's doing her thing. And now she's up on him. And he's like, let me see your face. Let me see your face. So she already has this look like, oh, my God, what's about to happen? And then after he sees her face, he's complimenting on her on her lips and then so of course he asked for you know so she's like oh it's a rule like no we can't do that and so he's like all right all right she's like but you know i break the rules for for a stack so he gives her the money we see her go down we see her take it out we see her do her thing and then <laughs> it's like oh all right so she's a rule breaker okay roulette and then we see her go in the um, dressing room and she got bags of money and Mercedes is there with her little small ass bag. And it's like, yeah, it's like that sometimes. And she's mad. But and the other girls like sly positive, like, oh, don't worry, you'll have your night kind of thing. And it's like, <laughs> relax. And then we see Mercedes call up the coach. Remember the guy that um, made her a proposition last season about some money to do some, you know, little something strange for some change so she hits him up like listen we, we gonna talk about it and this is really the first time we see mercedes willing to do something unscrupulous so it's like oh she really everybody's just pandemic times i guess so then Murder and Mississippi are you know it, this scene kind of reminded me of poetic justice just a little bit the scene with they at the gas station they got the water pistols only this time we see Murder in Mississippi and, you know, the traveling crew. And they stop at this convenience store and they almost get racially profiled. But then they buy their stuff and they go outside and they take some photos for their Instagram for promo. And it's like the, the photos come out fire. So then Uncle Clipper and Autumn are having a conversation about how, you know, about Lil' Murder and Mississippi and just about how the bar, how the club isn't ready to open up yet. And... Autumn is saying, you know, while Mercedes is hurt, Roulette and Whisper can just headline for her. And, you know, Cliff doesn't like it, but... Mm. And then they're like, we don't have a DJ. So they're like, let's get Big Bone, aka Lyra Galore, to be the DJ. Like, she can't be worse than Big L. So it's like... And it seems like it's going to be a good plan because while they're having their meeting, she's DJing anyway. And they like, ah, I like this the tune. So, you know, I think it's a good idea. So then we see Mayor Kyle having, like... A talk to the people and Mercedes mom shows up and it's funny because she's a woman of God but she shows up in this pink outfit and she almost she might as well be wearing red like she's like heaven and hell represented in her clothes and it's just so funny when she shows up and you know basically she just comes to let him know that like she's not playing she's not for the changes that she's trying that he's trying to make and you know that woman is a force to be reckoned with she is wow I love her all right, then my favorite, favorite, favorite part of this episode. Big Freed is in the episode, and it's a performance, and she comes out and introduces Murder in Mississippi, and then the fire, the performance is fired. They cut it like music video style. Like if you have, if you haven't seen this, go watch it. Like just this part is fire. Like it's so good. All right, so then Mercedes goes to meet with her sponsor, and they're talking like how this whole thing is gonna go down, and Terika is calling her, and she's telling the guy, you know. Ultimately, if I'm going to do this, you know, she's got morals. She's been preaching that since day one. Your wife has to know about it and she has to say yes. So he's like, all right. So I'm like, how's this man going to pull it off? But wait. But then we get to Mercedes meeting with the, um, actually, I can't, you know, it was so many good moments to this episode. Really, really so many good moments. So Mercedes meets with the coach and his wife and the wife is kind of like, like you can tell she's not all the way comfortable with this she's a little snide so mercedes is smart she's like okay i gotta win the woman over so she sides with the wife about her artwork and 
she opens up, she's a little bit more comfortable. And she tells her, you know, about how she wouldn't have done it if she wasn't comfortable, she would have respected her. Okay, so then the woman is like a little more comfortable and the husband is like, you have to see her dance. So I'm like, what? Bra has a pole in his giant ass home, just up there. So she dances and it's mesmerizing, it's beautiful. And you know, women, women tend to really, really appreciate pole dancing like you know they like stripping too you know the big boys or whatever but like the art of it like the artistry women tend to really really find the beauty in it so she's watching it and she's mesmerized and you see why like people love mercedes but you know she didn't show her too much because by the time she gets down the wife then took off her clothes and she's like i'm ready too so now mercedes is like i'm gonna have to do both of them and it's like <laughs> See, girl, that's what you get for being too good and being too willing to do something strange. So here you go. But then she gets a call like in the middle of it and it's her daughter. Well, she thinks it's her daughter, but it's actually the sheriff and something is wrong with um, the girl's adoptive mother. She's like, if you don't come get her, then she's going to go to jail. So, you know, she's got to leave. Then we have another incident where Lil Murder, you know, some of his sexual preferences start coming up to his manager like there's a after his performance there's like a scuffle outside with a woman and his new friend trying to defend her and there's someone to lose that you know he's not straight and all these things keep happening his manager and you know he's just looking at him like he already knows he, he's not with Keyshawn so it's just like a thing and so we but it seems like maybe there was something going on with the friend that just got out of jail so very interesting we know they have a close bond so then we get to see what's up with the two newbies, Roulette and Whisper. So they're in the bathroom and um, Roulette gets her cycle. So Whisper comes in with a tampon for her. She's like, you know, we all girls here, we're gonna get synced up. And it's like, what are strippers doing their period, right? Well, technically she would change her outfit. <laughs> she wouldn't just keep on them same bloody drawers, but she would change her outfit. And you would just, before you put it in, you cut the string and then you shoot the tampon up there and it's like an itty bitty little like super tiny tail that's left so you can always dig up in there and get it out later but that way we bend over and stuff nobody's gonna see this string so don't cut it once you have it in because if you're not careful if you had drinks if just anything could happen you snip too much you cut yourself you don't want that to happen so cut it before right and then stick it up there um so they do that and then Whisper gives her some coat and you see her get like, <sighs> and like, don't, I can't tell people what to do, but like, pole's a dangerous sport and so many things can happen. Don't get fucked up and then start doing crazy tricks. Like, stay, do some low flow, do some floor work. Don't, I'm like, if that's what you're gonna do, don't do the crazy stuff. And just whatever you do, just know your body. Like, you really have to trust your own body to do pole, just be, careful that so dangerous but it's so common but it's so dangerous um oh and then in the last episode we saw uncle Clifford tell his friend that she should be a house mom and she's actually a house mom in this episode so it was really cute and then um cliff we see uncle clifford dancing and bentley revel is his body double and oh my god i've been following bentley for so long i used to he used to do all the shows in new york pole play and just like all the little events that like some of my friends used to do was just in the city um stick it i think he just stick it a few times like and i've always loved to see bentley performing but i feel like i've been watching bentley since he first started performing and bentley is fire if you don't know who bentley is go follow bentley revel so, um, yeah, so it's like, oh, Uncle Clifford knows some stuff on the pole. Hold on, we need to know the story of this. But then Uncle Clifford gets off the pole and the two newbies come on the pole. So Whisper is doing like, she does like a simple climb and some kicks, but they look really impressive. So that's what I'm gonna show you today. And um, Roulette gets on the pole and she does this fire routine. It's just like, um, when we see Mercedes dance and we hear the breathing. So it gives you a lot of anxiety because you see how much strength you need to use and it's just a very scary thing. And then don't forget she's coked up out of her mind. So it was crazy dangerous, but she does so good. And so everybody loves her and she's making a lot of money. But in the end, she opens up her top and his titties on the, on the stage. And that's one of Uncle Clifford's rules, not on the stage. So Uncle Clifford is starting to see, okay, she's a rule breaker. So you know that's gonna be a problem. 
or is it? We are gonna find out. So now we already see her breaking two of Uncle Clippers rules. She needs to go, but she's gonna be bringing in money just like Big Bone. So then we see Big L with his new little protege. White Chocolate sees Roulette and it's kind of a thing. Like, oh, I see you, you see me, you see me, I see you. Like, it's a little vibe between them. But she also sees that they drop um, a bin of Oxy. So she's like, even game. Then my next favorite, like, scene where the doorway happens. They, like, you know, I'm starting to think, like, season one, we were, Given these characters, we learn their lives, we learn their stories. And now this season, it's like we're getting doorways into like who they really are and like what's going on in their life, like things that we didn't see, like it, like really deep information. So Mercedes is in the house of the woman that's raising her child and she's hosing her off in the bathtub. And we know that she had a baby with her, with her husband, who's now deceased, and the woman is raising her daughter and Mercedes was underage at the time that she had the child so they're having a conversation and the woman admits to her you know I, I didn't keep her from you because I wanted her I kept her from you because that was my husband's dying wish that I raise her and how she's been loyal to a man that was never even loyal to her in life and the irony of it and she has this hysterical laughing meanwhile the woman is in the tub, Mercedes is in front of her hosing her off, and there's a doorway, and behind that doorway is the daughter Terika, who is silently crying. So we've got the hysterical laughing with juxtaposition with the silent crying, and like these three layers, and this doorway, we're like peeking in. And information is being revealed to all three of them. The wife about herself, <laughs> Um, Mercedes about herself and the fact that a woman that didn't even want her child has been raising her child this entire time and Terika that her mom was underage when she had her that um, that she had lied about it to her father just hearing her mom her mom's words it was just a lot and Mercedes and her daughter are even dressed the same with the same colors they're both wearing red and the daughter has only half of the red and I think gold on top. Mercedes is in all red and the mother is in all green. It's just like the colors, the everything just means so it was just like greatly executed. So check out that scene. Let me know if that hit you too. So then we got a bunch to talk about numbers, right? So Uncle Clifford and Autumn meet up and talk numbers. Corbin and Andre meet up and talk numbers and what uh, Autumn and Andre starts bringing up maybe running for mayor first black mayor in their uh, area. Then we get another scene that takes place in um, with the door. Only this one is with Mercedes and uh, Lil Murder. And so she saves him from a group of girls that are after him by kissing him and pulling him into her hotel room. And she's like playing in his hair. He's sitting between her legs. I think the door is behind them. And she's greasing his scalp and helping him with a letter that he's trying to write to Uncle Clifford. And you see that their relationship is like a brother-sister relationship because we know she knows his secrets and she holds them and they just have each other's back and it's really nice. But then his friend, who just got injured, um, pulls him out and is like, go with me for a ride. Then Mercedes and her daughter have a talk and Terika lets her know that she heard everything and she questions her about why she never came back. And she tells her that, you know, you were 15 when all this happened, but you didn't stay 15. And how she always has excuses. So, you know, that was... And then we see, like, you know, we know for sure now that there's a deep, special connection between Lil Murder and his friend. Still not quite sure what it is, but it does seem like maybe his friend is in love with him. Because he talked about being in prison and getting, you know, little letters from Lil Murder with, like, rhymes on them. And it just meaning so much to him and keeping him sane but it's just something about the way that he said it you can feel sexual tension between them so let's see where this is going but that's what it's feeling like to me right now then we see mercedes mom is having some trouble because she's got her church going on and popping but then she gets served papers that says they got to be out because they're in violation of um like COVID laws so she lets them know that okay if the wrong neighbors you know called in about me i'm the wrong bitch to be like messing with so like heaven and hell Let's see what happens with that. But I'm betting 
on the mama. Yes. And then um, Uncle Clifford is at home in his room and, you know, he got the postcard from Lil Murder and he adds it to his uh, a mirror that's full of postcards for Lil Murder. And it's just like encircling him and you can tell it makes him feel special, but also like still not talking to him. But oh, there's, their connection is so sweet, but it's like, how is this going to work if you want to keep him a secret? You're going to have to see. So then in the end, we see Roulette getting out of a car, ask, telling the guy, like, if you want the Roulette experience again, Hint, hint, you know, we know what she was doing. Uh, her jack, you feel me? But then, then we see Big L with his new protege, we'll just call him White Chocolate. And he seems to be feeling roulette. And she seems like she's either feeling him or trying to figure out how she can work him. But they're like, I see you, you see me, you see me, I see you. Like, it's a little vibe going on. So I'm interested to see where that's gonna go. All right, so for today's tutorial, I figured maybe I'd give you two tutorials. What I'm first gonna show you are the very easy to do but impressive looking uh, like kicks that Winter, that Whisper was doing. So we'll work on that. And then secondly, what we'll work on is the jade that we saw Mercedes do in uh, the little private dance that she did for the coach and his wife. The jade is a lot harder of a thing to learn, but they all are accessible if you've learned the chopper, which we learned last week so follow me to the pole so we're going to do a step up and a kick and it's just as simple as it sounds if you can step up on the pole and you can kick your leg then you can do this it's something that you can use in other movements eventually but this is something that you can do on your own so we're just going to go over it so first thing we're going to do is just make sure that we're secure in our climbing foot brace so we'll just come into that So if you can do that, you're good. Another thing, if you wanted to prep it, you could mop the climbing foot brace on the floor. So you're gonna bring your foot across the pole to the other side, bring your ankle to the pole, bend your knee so that it's on the opposite side of your ankle, cross the opposite side in front. This would be your climbing foot brace. So you would climb, put your hands at a height that feels comfortable for you, and you would practice sitting, removing the leg, standing up with a kick. Sit, kick, and kick. Bending and kick. It's a lot easier to do on spin pole, so let's try it on spin. That's all there is to it. Jades look super impressive. It's a split on the pole, but it's not a beginner move. But don't worry, even if you don't get it right away, I'm going to teach you some prep work that you can do that's going to get you prepared for your jade splits and you'll have it in no time. So for our jade split, one thing that you need to have is an outside leg hang. So we're going to do some outside leg hang prep on the floor. So let's go down. So for this one, you want to have the pole positioned about midways, so about here, in the soft, squishy part of your waist. What's going to happen is I'm going to tuck my tailbone under, I'm going to straddle my legs, and my outside leg, the one that's away from the pole, is going to hook on the pole and bend. From there, I'll extend my inside leg, the leg that's closest to the pole. So let, let's go over that. So it's going to look like this. So the second part, the leg that is extended is going to sweep around and your outside hand is gonna reach for your leg and you're gonna pull it towards your face. So you can grab over or under depending on what feels better for you. I've seen people do it both ways. So I guess you can kind of choose that on your own, but let's see what it looks like.
and then you come down. Let's do it on the other side where I have a little bit more space to show you. Hook. From here, outside leg is gonna sweep around and my hand is gonna reach for this. Come into my pike. And then I'll lower that leg. Come into my pike and come down. So you can practice this a few times and then we'll take it up. So again, this is a move that you wanna do with some type of safety precaution. So grab a mat before you do this one. All right, let's try it on the pole. A trick to help you get super flat, the leg that's coming out, look for the heel. It's harder when you don't have on shoes, but when you have on shoes, you wanna look for your heel. When you find your heel, you're pretty much flat. When people do the J split, some people keep a support hand underneath their butt. Some people do it without the hand. So I'm gonna show you both ways. Try it from a climb and then try it on spin. So as you may notice, when I did it on spin, I did it from a reverse climb. That was just a little bit easier, but you don't have to do it that way. Let me know how those tricks went for you. Did you try the, um, the step up in the kicks? Did you try the jade? Um, yeah, drop down. Let me know some other things that you want to learn, especially from the series. And I will see you for the next one.